Legs. Hey. <laughs> Stop it. <sighs> See you yelled and it made it blurry. <laughs> ah. <laughs> hey. It's out of focus now. Damn. No, it's not. It is, look. Maybe it's been out of focus the whole time. Fuck, I'm just gonna probably shit. I'm uh I'm on my vacation and I'm enjoying some time out at the uh, at the lake. That's Don Pedro Lake. We're at C26 uh, campsite. <clears throat> um, yeah, it's nice. Uh, we have a kind of a little setup here, uh, normal camping setup, I guess you can say. Uh, we got like too much camping gear. I think, right? <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> I got this goofy hat on. Uh, I forgot where I bought it at. Did I buy this? Where did I buy this at? Amazon? Or did I buy it at the uh, Bass Pro? Or Bass Pro? <clears throat> anyway, <clears throat> so I'll give a quick looky around at the campsite. Um, there's my truck up there. It's kind of, this campsite's kind of on a slant. So if you're interested in camping here, you gotta, you gotta realize that. But the lake is like right there. So there's a tent and my hammock set up over there. Haven't really got to use it that much. <clears throat> there's a lake. I got gallons of water hanging from our, our canopy so it doesn't um, fly away. And then, you know, obviously it's gonna be staked down. So stake down. Um, there's a fire pit. I got my uh, or our camp stove that we bought a few days ago. It's been working nicely. We've used this thing so many times just in the last couple of days, and that propane tank's been just going strong. So um, they say that it's only supposed to last an hour on high, but dang, that's like it's been going for a while. So I, I'm not really like timing it or anything, but we do use it a lot. So we're still still on the one propane tank there, 16 ounce one. So anyway, and then we got a bunch of other stuff over here. It doesn't really matter. And I know my girlfriend doesn't want to be on the film, so I'm not going to put her on there. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, this is C26. It can be pretty nice, depending on your camping gear and stuff that you got. Um, There's like all sorts of different fish in this lake, if anybody's wondering. I'm guessing there's, uh, from what I hear, there's bass. Um, Rainbow trout, those are out probably in the middle, middle of the lake somewhere. The, um, somebody said that the, uh, there's crappie out here? I thought, I don't know, I've, there's a certain way to spell it, I guess. It looks like crappy, I think. <laughs> but there's crappie, rainbow trout, bass, catfish, um, and a carp, I guess. I guess the, the one, the guy we were talking to the other day, he has said there's carp out here. So, um. It's pretty nice. I kind of like it. I mean, we've been here a couple of nights already. We're gonna go here. We're gonna be here for another night too. And we got some uh, River Run rat. Uh, you got me saying rat. <laughs> we got some River Run tubes. That's it. And I got my fishing pole hanging off the tent over there. I don't know why I put it there, but it's, it seems like a good spot. Hopefully, it doesn't get caught on the mesh with the hook, but it'll be all right. So, get a little more view of this area. It's kind of on a peninsula too. Um, if you know what a peninsula is, it's like a little, uh, it sticks out a little bit um, and there's like coves on either side. So it's like, it's surrounded by three bodies of water. So it's kind of like your little own, own little island, um, it's, except it's not really an island, it's a peninsula. But yeah, they got water all around you. It's really, really cool. So There's been people boating out here the last couple of days and we were on our 
river run tubes yesterday and got some uh got some skiers going by and they they gave us some waves to have some fun jennifer um you care if i say your name mm-hmm. you're okay no, okay so <laughs> so when the waves are coming in uh jennifer almost like got bounced up on top of me <laughs> with the with the tube because they're the waves are throwing us around we had, we're right next to each other because we with the river run rafts or tubes i keep saying rafts with the river run tubes you have this little connector thing in the middle and you can stay connected to whoever you're you know like tubing with be your girlfriend or a friend or anyone that you're tubing with really but yeah, we had those connected and the waves started to come in and she like, she like got pushed up and almost on top of me there. It's pretty funny. I wish I could have had, you know what? I need a GoPro so I can do, so I can. Like take moments of like, like that. Cause I like to swim just like everybody else. Uh, there's a boat over there. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, I'm not really looking at the camera right now, so I'm just taking, I'm just, uh, you know, hopefully you've seen that. Goodbye. So that's probably, that's pretty much what you would, you would expect from this camp spot. It's just, you know, it's sloped, but that's all right if you don't mind the slope. Um, there's a, the, where we have the tent at, it's slightly sloped. It's not that much. It's like... It's not even noticeable. It's pretty much flat, but if you if you lay down in a certain way, it won't bother you too much. So, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't know. You can see that my uh, setup over there with a the hammock. I got a torch out there next to the. We don't even use that torch that much. We used it the first night, but um, I might just decide to move it because it's too close to the tent, and we don't like the smell coming from the citronella citronella uh, torch fuel. Stuff is kind of gross. You don't want to inhale that stuff either. I accidentally walked by it the other night. I think it was when I was um, setting up the tent, and I walked by it, and the 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 smoke from the the torch, like I inhaled a lot of it, and it just made me want to throw up. So I I think you're not supposed to have those close to wherever you're. You kind of gotta keep them away somewhere, like up on a. I, don't know, I probably should have put it up there next to the truck or something, but I put it there instead. But there's another one down there. And then, oh, if anybody has not used these torches before, um, just so you know, um, this is where I made a mistake because I've never used a torch before. And I, when I bought it at Walmart, we didn't realize and we went out on a, a camping trip and we didn't even realize that we needed fuel for them. I thought the fuel was in our already in the canisters or something, but I guess they don't sell them that way. Um, but yeah, that's, that's my, I should have done some research on it before, but if anybody's watching this and you, you're wondering about the torches and stuff, yeah, you basically, you want to buy some fuel for them. Um, it's hard to find anything without the citronella stuff. So um, if you're going to buy these at Walmart, um, you're probably going to wind up getting the citronella um, torch fuel. So uh, you basically, you unscrew the cap, you pour pour in the citronella stuff, you let the um, the wick get, you know, saturated in the uh, the torch fuel, obviously. So you just, you're just that's all, that's what it's going to do. It's going to, it's going to creep up the wick anyway and out to the outside and then you light it up. You let it sit in there for about five minutes and then it'll, it'll it should soak it and saturate it all the way to the top. Then you light it and those things last for a long time. Like I had mine, um, going last night. I think it was about, I want to say it lasted about from full to empty. I'd say about seven hours, seven or eight hours. So those things last a while. So <clears throat> it's nice to keep, the. Uh, like critters at bay too, so like raccoons and stuff. They didn't want to hang out at their camp camp spot, campsite. I can't I can't talk today. They didn't want to hang out at their campsite today or, or last night very much. Something wrong with my. I'm just like I can't talk right today. I don't know. Maybe I had too much coffee or something. But coffee's always nice in the morning. Oh, and if anybody's wondering what kind of coffee I drink, I like uh, Stoke cold brew coffee. Uh, not too sweet. I get I get these in combination with the unsweetened ones because and the unsweetened unsweetened ones have the uh, blue label i get those because um i'm kind of lazy i don't like to actually i don't even like hot brewed coffee anymore after after tasting this stuff this stuff is good um i can drink that stuff all day long every day so um but yeah those are really good um they they fly off the shelves at at the same market that i that i shop at um they fly off the shelves they're barely ever in stock so I'm lucky if I see them there. So, uh, 
tend to have to go to other another store to get them if they're out of stock at Save Mart. <clears throat> but yeah, was, uh, I'm not. Um, what do you call it? They're not paying me to talk about this coffee, by the way. Just so you know, um, this is uh, just a my recommendation on cold brew coffee if you like it. I've been drinking Stoke cold brew coffee probably for about two years now, a little over two years. I don't get sick of it. It's got a really good taste. Um, if if you're not really a coffee drinker and you don't really like coffee that much, um, you'll you'll probably like this. This is good stuff. But especially since it's slightly sweetened. But I like to mix it with the unsweetened, so it's like a little less sweet. I don't really like sweet coffee, so um, sometimes I'll just drink the unsweetened right out of the bottle. But um, I like to mix it with the not so sweet. So it's not too terribly sweet and it's not too unsweet so if that makes any sense at all anyway i don't know what else to talk about now <laughs> i mean i could go on all day long i could talk about the stuff I, like the camping stove that i bought it's a ozark trail um we've been buying a lot of ozark trail lately and here goes the boat again what's up dude <laughs> skiing over there that's cool i want to go skiing someday if I could ever afford it. Anyway, back to what I was talking about. So we got this camping stove here. Uh, it's a Ozark Trail and it's got a Coleman, Coleman propane tank on it. Um, so I guess you can say that we, we buy pretty much Ozark Trail and Coleman stuff. I have a Coleman sleeping bag also. So, But yeah, that's, I guess that's where it's at. Ozark Trail and Coleman do the uh, camping camping gear so um i want to say that ozark trail uh camping stove is i, I hate to I, I hate to diss coleman but i think this this one's better than a coleman um i know there's a lot of coleman enthusiasts out there that would probably argue with that but this thing when you light it up the the knobs right here they you get you can adjust the uh what do you call it adjust the how if it's uh like how much flame it i don't know really know i didn't really i don't know i've never really used a coleman so i can't really say um this is my first camping so my personal camp i mean this is shared between me and my girlfriend jennifer so um we both bought it basically so it's ours together i can't say it's mine just mine because <laughs> it's all all this stuff is ours like uh together so um we got this other kind of like oh yeah it's a coleman too isn't it then we got an igloo and we got a Coleman, um, the Coleman ice chest. Ice chest. Thank you. <laughs> kind of sucks. It's not. The it best. it kind of yeah, like what she just said is is a uh, kind of sucks. It doesn't hold it doesn't hold the cold in, so your ice is gonna melt really fast. We just got the ice yesterday. In fact, <laughs> I'll show you what this thing is holding right now. The ice we got yesterday, probably around one o'clock or so. So I got, there's, there's the Stoke cold brew coffee, the, the unsweetened ones. And, uh, so you can see the ice is pretty much already melted. I got some Guinness out in there. I got Malibu, you know, I got nothing but the good stuff here. So, so, uh, yep, yeah, that's pretty much what it does, but that's a Coleman. It was about 20 bucks, right? $20. Okay. But it's good for a day. <laughs> for I mean the ice and stuff the ice is gonna melt pretty fast but that means cold brews real fast that doesn't make any sense never mind um <laughs> and, and I don't know what else can I talk about that's pretty much it huh anyway I'm gonna edit this video later so a lot of it stuff stuff's gonna be cut out all the stuff that I was saying so um I gotta look at the camera there it is hello <laughs> All right, so this is C26 uh, camp spot. It's at 98% right now, the lake level, or lake water. Uh, well, we checked a, lot, a couple of days ago, and it has, doesn't seem like it's gone down or anything, so it's about 98% now. If you want to subscribe, that's cool. I'm, I mean, I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to start putting out more videos. Um, I don't feel like I put it out, put out enough videos. My videos are awesome. You're gonna get, you're gonna see all sorts. Of, every, everybody wants to watch my videos. I really do like this campsite. We've been here two nights already, and we're gonna get, a, we're gonna do another night. So.
I wish we would have brought the GoPro. Damn it. It was up to that trail down there, that second trail. The water has gone down a lot. Here we are again, three years later. The water came all the way around this way on the right side. Yeah, is, is there a metal pole over there anywhere in the ground? It doesn't look the same, does it? It looks so weird. Wow. You'd be in the water right now, I think. At that point. I don't know if they took that metal pole out that was down here, but that's there was a pole over here somewhere. No, man, this is crazy. The water was all the way over here. Are you going to go all the way down there? Why? Oh, my God. Six and a half hours later. It doesn't even look like the same lake anymore. <laughs> 